I also wanted to point out that our annual stormwater awareness poster contest, which is part of the uh, stormwater awareness week activities, has been a coordinated effort between the county, the city of Ukiah, and the city of Fort Bragg. And this year we had over 200 um, posters from grades uh, K through through six in the Ukiah and, and Fort Bragg um, environs. So this is our biggest uh, participation for the poster contest to date. Um, and at least some of these posters will be on display this week at Ukiah City Hall, and then we will have them out here in the atrium uh, next week for, you, for people to look at. And just a final note there, some of the poster contest winners are here today, and what I'd like is, is for, for Joe Scriven to come forward to receive the proclamation along with some of the winners, and Joe, maybe you can introduce the winners. Hi, my name's Joe Scriven. I work for the County Water Agency. And um, our three winners for the Ukiah Valley from Frank Zeke School, actually, all three from Frank Zeke School, are here today to, um, to receive their award, which was $20 a piece, and they got a blue ribbon. And Great. so I'd like to call up our three winners. That's uh, Daisy. She's from second grade at Frank Zeke. And Nina, she's in fourth grade. And Taylor. And if you could come up here, please. And uh, if, if I could... Uh, Stand next to them, please. and if I could hold on to the proclamation and, and uh, Supervisor Delbar, if you would please. Picture of that'd all be, of you. That'd be fantastic. Come on up, we don't bite. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Only the adults. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that clarification. <laughs> All right. Those girls are learning at an early age that water's worth money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Chairman, I'd introduce the proclamation. Oh, you want to show oh, the yeah. posters oh, to yeah, the board? see the pictures. Yeah. Posters. And they'll great. be on display next week in the hallway here as well. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's great. Yeah. So I will second that motion. Okay. The, the proclamation has been moved and seconded. Uh, further discussion on the proclamation? Okay. Call for the vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you very much, right. Roland. Thank and, you. And, and to the young ladies, thank you very much. You bet. Okay, we're right on time uh, for a timed item at 145. This is the presentation on the Uniform Nuisance Abatement Procedure and Lean Hearing Process. Uh, sponsored by the Planning and Building Services. Uh, Mr. Lynch. Yeah, I'm going to have Jim McCleary, who put this together, come up and provide this to you. This is really, unfortunately, the pictures you're going to see here aren't as nice as the ones you just saw. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, about a year ago, I guess, the county adopted the uh, Uniform Nuisance Abatement Procedure Regulations. And before we get into this process which involve as it stands involves this board quite a bit and I think potentially puts the board uh, both individually and collectively in an awkward position quite honestly at times uh, we wanted to do um, kind of a, a workshop with you to show you how this process works and show you uh, some of the procedures that code enforcement's going to have to go through it's a very labor intensive um, time consuming process and unfortunately as it's drafted may eat up a lot of the board's time and so before we get into that we thought we should do a dry run if you will through the process and uh, show you how it works what the issues are and take your comments so with that Jim McCleary from code enforcement is going to run you through the process good afternoon um, I put together a, a PowerPoint presentation here that will uh, summarize 
and kind of overview the uh, nuisance abatement procedure uh, as uh, drafted in the uh, nuisance abatement ordinance. The uh, ordinance itself is designed to provide the tools necessary uh, to encourage compliance with county health and safety codes. It provides uh, penalties for those who fail to abate public nuisances. It allows property owners to have a uh, review of their cases, which I think is very fair. And we need to understand that the property owner can work with the code enforcement officer to uh, uh, design their abatement program. They can uh, uh, appeal their uh, the notice in order to abate. They have 10 days in which to appeal. Uh, following the uh, abatement, once they've uh, accomplish the abatement set forth, uh, they have a right to talk with the department head to, um, uh, uh, I guess, challenge the civil penalty. If it's gotten rather large and they feel that they've done the work asked and they've abated the violation, they can talk with the department head who has the authority to waive uh, or reduce the penalty. Uh, and then finally, of course, if they fail to abate and fail to uh, uh, appeal uh, for 90